everybody welcome to another battle this time i will be talking about uh, t69 uh, but uh, before we go to the to the battle i wanted just to show you some stats of t69 and explain why gold dome so uh, if we see, I, I picked uh, some most popular uh, auto loaders and auto reloaders that uh, compared to can, we can compare to t69 at tier 8 and as you see uh, starting from the top the dpm is not so bad it's progetto has a bit uh, better uh, dpm but uh, skoda and lorraine are, are worse there now to the to the main topic why gold loop you can see the penetration of this tank is, of standard ammunition is very bad it's 180 and it doesn't even compare to to the rest of the tanks so we will have uh, 200 uh, on uh, Skoda, 212 on Progetto and 230 on Lorraine. Uh, to have uh, a decent penetration, very good penetration, you need to load heat uh, on T69 and then you will have 250 penetration. So it's an expensive tank to play, to perform well. Uh, the rest of the, of the things are pretty okay. Uh, the very good thing about the 69 is the clip size. It has four uh, ammo in a clip, uh, meaning it can do uh, 960 damage in a clip. So it's better than Progetto and Skoda. It's only worse than Lorraine. <clears throat> and interclip reload is two seconds, so it's not so bad. So you can clip 960 damage within uh, yeah, six seconds. Uh, shell velocity is comparable, uh, the hits are also not, not very fast, so you have to get used to shooting them. The gun handling of this tank is not very good. Uh, it's uh, almost it's worse than, than the rest of the tanks in this group uh, by a small margin, but uh, you can get used to that uh, on the field, I think. So, and the gun depression is uh, 9 degrees, so it's, it's very good and you can, you can fight on the ridge lines easily. The speed is 51.5, uh, weirdly, uh, so it's uh, better than a Skoda, but worse than Progetto and Lorraine. Reverse speed is, is almost the same, so 20. It's uh, terrain uh, resistance, uh, pretty bad, but it has very good to red traverse so you can uh, follow your shots for those uh, fast scouts and you will often hit them if you if you get uh, get used to that you have a slow shell velocity so you have to shoot ahead of uh, the fast tanks okay so now we can talk about the armor the armor is better than uh, than the rest of this group and this is the only uh, auto loader that I know that, that has uh, such a nice armor. Hull is 100 and it's decently shaped so you can uh, occasionally bounce some, some shots. And the uh, turret armor uh, is 150. It doesn't sound much on a paper but it's uh, very well angled so it will bounce a lot of shots. Uh, especially uh, around the gun mountlet, it's, it's very well shaped, so you can reach there on uh, around 300 uh, or even more effective armor. Uh, the health is comparable to the rest, uh, and uh, one more very exceptional thing about this tank is, is uh, view range. It has 400 view range, so it's better than, than the rest of the tanks that we are comparing here. So before we go to the battle, uh, let's take a look, uh, a short look at the armor model. So uh, it doesn't look uh, very uh, dangerous, so to say. Uh, you can penetrate it in a, in a bottom hole almost everywhere. So the green areas are easy penetrable. So on the, on the turret are the cheeks uh, as well. But uh, if you receive a hit around the mantlet or uh, somewhere on the top of the of the turret you will usually bounce and the uh, commander's hatch also has some uh, impenetrable areas and the commander hatch is itself pretty uh, pretty small so it will bounce uh, it will uh, accept a uh, hit without damage occasionally so uh, 
all in all, you will see in the battle how that armor performs because on the paper it looks much worse than it is, but it's still much better than the other outloaders. So let's go to the battle. Uh, so uh, as usual, I will go to the left flank where uh, all medium tanks go. This is a good spot where you can uh, use your turret properly and uh, try not to expose your hull. Uh, it's uh, sometimes difficult because your reverse speed isn't so great, but uh, well, your gun depression allows you here so to have some uh, good angles. So just just in case nobody is here, I'm trying to approach from a concealment uh, side, so I don't get spotted too early and have a bit surprise on my uh, enemies. Now I'm spotted. So I reverse, I didn't have a shot anyway. I want to assess the situation for a second if we are not getting flanked and we'll try to clip that tiger too. So two hits, one penetration, one went into the truck, so that's the minus of shooting heat uh, ammunition, it will get absorbed by space armor most of the times. Now the shot to penetration and uh, again. So out of the whole clip I managed to penetrate three, uh, three shots. So my I reload, it has uh, 24 seconds reload. Get hit by RT. I heal it and uh, repair the track so I don't, I'm not stuck in the middle of the field and that my reload doesn't take too long and try to get an angle again so not penetrate a shot again yeah, you see so I, i'm maybe not aiming perfectly but even with hits uh, versus those uh, armored mediums i bounce occasionally so with 250 penetration, what would happen with uh, 180 penetration? I'd probably stop playing this tank at all. Okay, I'm on the reload again. And try to get, get shots into that tiger and see. Uh, bounced twice from his uh, uh, turret and he started shooting uh, high explosives into me. So uh, our team broke that flank, I started reloading again and let's push to a new position and see what we can do from there. So I'll just try and take a peek from here if I can get some shots. Then I notice on the minimap that there is a tank uh, going from behind, so I'll try to clip him. I, I try to avoid shooting in his truck, uh, because then it will be no damage. Uh, so I just shoot into the areas I could penetrate. So uh, It's a shame that I'm on the reload, I could shoot that T28, but he is pretty slow, so maybe after I reload he'll be still, uh, so to say, available for my shots and our scout is driving around him, so so he's not uh, paying attention what is happening around, so now let's clip him. Oh yeah, I was too fast shooting, so that last shot was just shooting to the wreck. Expensive choice. So on the reload again, and uh, I'm wondering should I push now and change position or or stay, but I see my teammates are pushing, so let's push as well. No sense staying back right now. I still have quite a lot of HP. And I uh, drove down and uh, hit the wreck. Oh, perfect driving. Let's shoot the TD. Missed. I don't know why. Carnivoran is dead and Scorpion is dead, so... Time to push on 
So probably about uh, when I finish shooting I should have reloaded. But I uh, noticed while I'm driving that there are no more enemies and the rest is probably too close. So I didn't want to uh, reload uh, right now. I have just a small clip. So don't know where that went. So he blocked my shot and then second one I missed. So. This gun will troll you occasionally, uh, as I told you in comparison, the gun handling statistics aren't great, but usually you will fight pretty close with it, uh, so the, the gun handling is not an issue then. So, yeah, that LT is annoying. Dead. So I only have one shot left before uh, rolling. So you see, I bounce some shots. I will show you later on uh, where, where the, those shots bounce. You can see actually now on the on the tank, uh, two of those bounces. I'm reversing because I'm not reloaded yet. Almost there. Now we can start clipping. So Progetto is nicely. <laughs> yeah, he was almost in my uh, aiming wheel, but I still miss. So, so I hit three out of four and on the reload. It seems that the game is won already. So I don't know even if somebody will survive before I reload. <laughs> no, nobody survived before I reloaded. So now to the armor. Uh, I wanted to shortly show you where the where the shots bounce. So the first bounce was from Tiger 2. He shot in my uh, above my gun gun mantle. Just above that area where he shot is actually a area where he can penetrate. So it's easy easy to miss. And the second shot was absorbed by a viewport on the commander's hatch that you, if you remember from. It's it's area where the uh, shots will be absorbed. Uh, then the next shot uh, was actually a uh, upper plate. Well, the angle helped me a lot. So projector was shooting from PP, and his uh, his PP is around 200. So nice bounce. And then again, uh, two red. Uh, in this area, I have a uh, hardest armor uh, in general, so it's it's very often uh, a bounce. So let's go to the end screens. So it was an ace tanker uh, battle. Uh, I've I've done three thousand eight hundred uh, damage, one thousand two hundred spotting, so five thousand combined. So. Uh, <laughs> My team done also very well. Uh, that uh, Panhard didn't have done three thousand three hundred damage, and T forty four and Panther two that done uh, over two thousand. So nice, uh, nice teamwork there. And of course, the last. If you play this tank with full heat, you will lose a lot of money. So uh, don't don't expect to be earning then. But uh, but still, from time to time, this tank is very fun to play even though you'll be losing silver.